Hello, I'm Asif Farouk of Finextra and I'm here with Llewellyn Maluli of RBS and we're going to be speaking about Basel III and liquidity. Llewellyn, thanks for joining us. So with Basel III coming into force in Europe this year, it's a very hot topic. Um, from a liquidity perspective, what are some of the key takeaways for a corporate treasurer? Well, Basel III is coming at a time of some quite fundamental structural reforms in the banking industry. So I think um, it's safe to expect some changes in the uh, availability and pricing around individual product lines. I think a great takeaway for corporate treasurers is the importance that the regulation places on uh, cash management as a function. And that's why we're seeing so much more focus and competition uh, in the area, which is great. The key theme for corporate treasurers uh, linked to the potential changes in pricing on overdrafts and deposits is the importance of, of cash flow forecasting. It's always been important, but it's really crucial now uh, to be able to optimize the use of overdraft facilities and maximize the, the yield and return on surplus cash. And on that point on, on surplus cash and yield, the contractual term of over 30 days is really going to become uh, a, a sweet spot. Um, and so it'll be interesting to see how treasurers wrap their heads around that in terms of their investment policies. So as the low rate environment continues in developed economies like Europe, where do you see innovation pushing international liquidity structures in the coming year? It's been an interesting thing. We've, we've seen uh, definitely a divide over the past few years uh, between emerging economies and developed economies in terms of the uh, interest rates and economic growth. So a lot of the large corporates that we deal with have been expanding their operations into new countries and that obviously means dealing with additional countries and the volatile country and currency risk associated with that. So we've seen and, and will continue to see a lot of interest in cross-currency or multiple currency solutions, uh, specifically cross-currency notional pooling um, and even physical cross-currency sweeping. Really, uh, corporate treasurers are looking for ways to automate uh, the management of their FX positions uh, and uh, manage their, their country risk. And I think that ties in very well to the renewed trends that we're seeing um, in global centralization of liquidity um, and tying that into your payments and your in-house banking structures.